Is that better, Kurtz? Can you hear me now? Sorry, I didn't realize my son must have muted my microphone. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Hello? Yeah, so I think my microphone should be working fine. It is. Fern Solo, man, you just came in like unbelievable, man. Hey, William Kibler, what's up? Fern, I just, I was getting ready to, to build this part. And th this is just complete coincidence, bro. My wife just, um, my wife just called me and the postman literally just arrived. So I actually just, I, was, I just literally started to open them. Dude, this is like insane. This is like, you couldn't have, you couldn't have picked this at a better time for him solo. Look at this, guys. Look at these drive shafts for him solo. Send me. How nice are these? Wow, these things are beefy, Fern. This is just crazy, unbelievable timing, man. This is a, just, I'm blown away that these are actually here right now. Look at these. Guys, these things are phenomenal. Just unbelievable. And he also sent me, let me just open these players. He just sent me the end pieces for the rear axles. These are metal upgrades from RC four wheel drive. These will actually replace these pieces on the axle. So these will replace these right here. One here, one here. Fern Solo, man, thank you so much. Man, it's like unbelievable that they just arrived right literally like two minutes ago, right before I was about to go on live. It's like crazy. Don't lose the space otherwise, because you will need them for the dry shafts. No problem, Fern. Yeah, I see them here. You have four of them right here. So I guess these parts I can put away to the side for now. It's because this was actually what I was getting ready to start building on. Hey, Island RC Duke, what's up? Um, so I guess we'll need this part. Oh, actually, wow. These actually have the grub screws and all in them as well, Fern. Wow. All right, so I'm going to actually turn it. The camera down this way green frog what's up buddy so i'm gonna turn the camera down this way so yeah so for our knees i just noticed these actually have the grub screws and everything um wow these are pretty damn cool axles man. and it's it's amazing that they actually just the right like i'm just i'm blown away on the timing of it because just before I was getting ready to click live, my wife called me and said, hey, there's a package here from Fern Solo. I was like, what? Like, so I just run down as quick as I could and grab them. It's amazing, man. Thank you very much. Nice. The parts go there from Fern Solo. Just in time. Yeah, it's like crazy. Like, it's unbelievable. Like, the timing of it. So I guess we will need this. Um, no, actually, we won't need these now because these actually have everything on them. That is insane for and So it's the whole complete, it actually is the whole complete pieces. The ends, everything on both of them. That is crazy. Um, let me get a nut driver to open these up now. You just saved a lot of build time, actually, for and solo as well. So, it's pretty cool. Now guys, if none of you have checked out for and solo, I know most of you in here have, but if none of you have, please go and check out his channel. Hit that like and subscribe button. So, front, 
and rear. So my front axle will be the smaller one. Okay, so see what you're saying you need uh, the little spacers burn. So you put a little spacer in there. And it just sits perfect. Uh, yeah, I'll go back and lock tight them afterwards for and so. I'll just put them in now, make sure they all go in. Right. Look at that. You just you just saved about ten steps in the build process. Pretty cool. Now let's get the rear one. I like how that rear drive shaft that you sent. There's um there's lots and lots of travel on it so you can't it, it probably could be used like there's lots of travel on that thing so you could use it for different wheelbases which is pretty cool you could shorten the wheelbase or lengthen the wheelbase Man, you know, I just, I can't say thanks enough for these friends, you know, it's just like. I just got to see the hole. Oh, that's why this, that piece turns as well. Uh -huh. I was wondering, I was like, something's not lining up right here. Yeah, we and I see you're doing the SCX 10 2 builders kit. I see you started that. Yeah, this one is the this one's the Jeep Cherokee kit. I I never actually built the Cherokee kit before. And so the next part now is actually so this is something I don't know. Maybe some is out there. Let me see if this camera will focus. a bit more light around here or something maybe some of you don't know why they give you two skid plates i know maybe one's for different type of chassis or something like cause this one i can't see what telling me to do with this one this one is the one that i need to use i know fyi the dry shots don't work for the raw builders kit because of the transmission being so different Good to know. Three link and four link skid plates. Ah, good to know, Fern Solo. Good to know. But there doesn't actually. Or Green Frog, sorry, good to know. It doesn't actually look like that much of a difference, though. Green Frog, you still have the four. Like, if you look at the two of them, they still have the, the four openings. The one has screws off to the side so i'm guessing maybe for the different motor mount or something on it one of the skid plates is for the old transmission ah so you can if you have the older transmission uh, yeah I, that's one thing i do like about axial though like they do give you like axial do give you lots of extra parts even in their parts trees i know somebody was saying in the sex 10.3 they actually done away with the, let me turn a light on behind me a minute. Just brighten things up a little. Yeah, so somebody was saying in the SDX 10.3, they actually done away with the parts tree. Um, I don't know why they would have done that, because that's, we get some cool parts from Axial and something you look forward to. So now they've done away with it, it's like, 
I guess they kind of went it. Oh, so I guess I still will need the screws out of this bag. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bag up. What did I just do with it? So I'm going to need these two. Need these two. And these two right here. Nope. Oh, so that piece on the last time when I was building the transmission, I said I couldn't figure out what that was for. It's hard to see there. For my lighting, I probably could do a better lighting. But there's a piece right here. Yeah, there you go. So I couldn't figure out what that was. So it actually turns out it is a motor mount. So there we go. It is actually a motor mount. And this motor mount would be like hmm. The holes that aren't actually lining up with the with the motor. So they're saying if that motor is like that, they're saying this should line up. Yeah, them holes are completely not lining up. Unless I need to turn the angle of this one a little bit and see if that helps. Which I don't think I can. Yeah, even at that, uh, even at that, these are not. Lining up, so I wonder really do I need to use this one? Nope, that one will not line up. So, uh -huh. that's interesting, guys. I can't seem to get this motor mount to line up. So, that one definitely goes into that slot. So you know what, I'm gonna actually, this is the way Axial said to install this. Um, it's hard to see. They, so they said to install it with this shape and you can see in the instruction book, I think if I actually take this off and flip it around, it might actually work. It's in such an awkward spot without having to take the whole transmission apart. Oh, sorry that guys. Let me just turn my phone on silent. Man, I hope I can get this without having to take that whole transmission apart. Might be lucky. Hey, RC3, dude, what's up? Before I go ahead and tighten that, but actually, yeah, it can't because there is only one. There is only one way for it to go. Is it? There is a groove in it, so there actually is only one way for it to go. So weird. Now, of course, you can't get it back in. Oh, 
of Murphy's Law. I'm going to have to loosen this all up just to get it back in here. I'll turn the camera up a little bit so when I lift my hands up as well, you can actually see what I'm doing. Hopefully I don't have to take it completely apart. I'll just loosen it slightly to get that part back on. Hopefully that gives me enough play. There we go. But will I be able to get the screw back in without taking it apart? That's going to be the next question. We had to tighten the transmission back up again. Kevin Gibbs, what's up? Thanks, by the way, everyone, for stopping in. And you need only stop in and say hello. Thanks so much, very much. I don't know what's going on with this tool, but it doesn't seem to be locking. I think I got grease on it one of the days, and now it's just slipping. So I think maybe, guys, it was it was builder's error the last time because I noticed when I put it back this time, there's a little a little bump right here. And when I put it in that little bump, I think the two of these might line up this time. And look at that! What would you know? Don't blame the kit, blame the builder. Because 90% of the time, it's definitely not the kit's fault. This is where power tools would come in handy, but since I don't have any, and I don't really use them. So this little ratchet one is just as handy as any. It does look good. And the good thing, it does let you know when it's tight as well. So the chances of wringing it is a lot slimmer with this. Oh, that's what you don't want to do, though. You don't want to drop the screws. Fern, I'm so happy with them guys, Sass man, it's like no idea. Thank you very much, bro. So for any of you just tuning in, Fern Solo actually um donated these nice dry shafts for this build. These dry shafts and he did give me some RC four wheel drive end stubs for the rear axle. And literally these came in like two minutes before I was about to go on live. Not even two minutes. I was getting ready to hit the button whenever my wife called me to say there was a package from Fern Solo. It was like, thank you very much, man. Um, these two go. 
Oh, up into the mortar. So it's one that way. And one the opposite direction. I know somebody was building the... Sean, only use screwdrivers to show us how to do it when he's building alone. He just uses the force. <laughs> that would be nice. So I know um, there is a left and a right to these things. Somebody was building a SEX 10-2 Unimog the other day, and they actually only got both um, right-hand sides. They didn't actually send them a right and a left. But he did say that he reached out to Axial and Horizon, and they sent him the replacement parts right away, which was pretty cool. But, man, they make the hole tight. Is that the right way around for it? Should the slope be up or slope up? The slope should be down. So good job, I caught that before I tightened it, guys. So the slope should actually be down the way when this is on. So it actually should be this one. And that's what I get for breaking them off before I looked at the numbers on the parts tree because one is called number three and one is called number four. So it does help to look at things. How's everybody doing anyway? What are they working on? You should hire a vacuum cleaner when you clean up after the build. Dude, I, it's like the amount of things I drop. I got the one thing I do got to invest in is I got to invest in a magnetic mat or something. I definitely got to do something like that because every time I I build and drop something on the floor, the only lucky thing it seems to be there's a it seems to be that there's actually uh what do you call it there's like a slope on my floor or something it must be because every time i drop a screw they all seem to go to the same corner no matter how many times i hear them bounce they always seem to end up there <laughs> magnetic broom yeah that would be cool kevin like i should just put like maybe right under my feet i should just put a carpet rug just a small little rug, so if anything drops, it doesn't bounce on the wood floors, and it just like gets picked up on the carpet rug. What the heck? The hardest part of this build, guys, is not cursing. Because I want to do some serious cursing right now. There's always one that just messes around. There's no like, there's always, it just doesn't want to go where it's meant to go. So Voodoo, did you get any more racing done or anything, or how's that? Actually, RC Mart, you were waiting on parts coming from RC Mart. Did you get them in yet, or are you still waiting for them? All right, guys, so that's the transmission skid plate and the drive shafts all in, so. Oh. 
All right, so I guess we'll move on to bags F, bag E down. Actually, I'll put these parts back into bag E because I'm sure somewhere along the line I'll probably need them for something. Um, take the pins, make sure I put everything in together. Man, I'll put them all into a, a sandwich bag or something later. And, uh, my big stubby fingers just won't pick up the pins. And yes, before he's asked, I have got pink tweezers. I hear that, usually the last screw. Yeah, it is, Kevin. It's always the, the last one. So, Voodoo, how is that drift machine coming along? Did you get the parts from RC Mart or no? RC four-wheel drive makes C hubs for the front axle if you want them to look pretty. Cool, and match the rear axle. Yeah, I'll look into that first. So, because I'm actually gonna do a a actually, let me just answer this. From, this is Alan from STP. Um, I did. Oh, wow, Alan got a nice new kit. Wow, I'll not tell you what the kit is because I'm sure he'll do an unboxing and reveal it. Sweet. Right. No, sorry about that, guys. I'll just answer his text first. But that's a pretty cool kit, so look forward to something cool coming from Alan from STP. Um, all right, so I guess part numbers. I guess by I guess. So you've got a lot of screws in here. Um, what was I going to say, Fern? So, yeah, so I'm probably going to do that 1976, well, not 76, 1970s, the Range Rover body. It's probably the one I'm going to do for that. So I will look into that. So these is parts eight, three oh seven eight. Part six. Oh, this is probably them on the side of it, is it? Yep, and it is. These are all part three. It's okay. One, two, three. STP scale trail. What's up, me familiar? Me familiar. Um, that is an awesome kit that you got. I did not tell anybody on here what it is because I know you'll be doing an unboxing of it later. I'm texting you to see if you'll read in on the live stream. <laughs> Daniel, yeah, actually, I just, I will, Daniel, but I'm going to turn my phone over right now so that I get no more texts. I'll not read any more texts. So, haha, -ha, Daniel. Yes, I did. So, now you have her texts. I will not get the text because I just turned my phone upside down. It's like my phone, it's turned upside down. I think this is the right bag of screws for this one. Oh, seems to be a lot of bags of screws for these next section of the build. I normally have my holder for all my screws, but right now at the minute it's just completely filled with everything. Hello, health we do. <laughs> yeah, so look, the phone is upside down, so it won't distract me taking a look at texts anymore or anything. So let me make sure this is the right one. That actually looks a little big. That's what she said. Anyway, so. All right, so it looks like these three. So 
So, Daniel, you didn't answer the question yet. Did you get your parts? I will still ring. I turned it to silent, actually. So I just turned it to silent, so it won't even ring. Um, I was going to say, did you get your parts from RC Four Wheel Drive yet, or no? Or not RC Four Wheel Drive from RC Mart? I know you were waiting on parts coming in from them. Yeah. So, Alan, um, I will say that that. Um, that kit you got is pretty awesome and I actually look forward to seeing you build that and seeing the run videos of it. Nope, still waiting. That is crazy, man. Like how long does it take him to ship freaking parts? Did they give you like tracking numbers or anything or give you anything to say that they're on their way or they're not on their way or anything? Right, there's no way that's the right screw, guys. It's way too big. Hey, Jack, good day, brother. Welcome in. Just having a bit of fun chatting and doing a bit of building at the same time, so... How's everything been with you? So I wanna go with these three screws this time, just to see. I got confirmation email and nothing else. That is, that's insane, like Scott Sella, what's up? You think to be like something else is it hell up in customs is it like what the heck is the deal with it like they get they send you one e they send you one email to say you bought the thing and then don't send anything back to you to say whether it's caught in customs or anything else. I will have a giveaway in two or three weeks once I get the parts in the mail. Sweet Fern Solo. We'll keep an eye out for that one. And there's no way there's not a smaller screw than these ones. It has to be these ones. That's crazy. Let me try one of these just like this first. Man, that's actually as tight as a nun's crotch. But once you get it started, it does go in, so. I've been waiting for two weeks and some parts from my man. That that's friggin' crazy, Gavin Gibbs as well. Two weeks for parts? Like that's just insanity. I can't remember what side. This side. Um would you got them to how long did it take the two trail walkers to come? They came pretty quick. You know what sucks though is that I just finished the SCX 10 3 kit last night. And now I gotta build this kit. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, but you'll have fun building that kit, Alan. So, AJM, what's up? RC Bicer Boy, what's up? So, I know, Kevin, you got the two trail walkers, and they came pretty quick. It's like you only ordered them during the week and they came in already. So some stuff that some shops are getting stuff out pretty quick. Other shops are just taking forever. So 
So I don't know why that is or what's going on. Like they're all using the same freaking postal service. Unless some of them are selling parts that they don't actually have in stock still, and they're waiting on them coming into stock. That could be a part of it. Hey, Kent's RC. Guys, I'm back. Welcome in, Kent's. Kent's is actually the first person here. SEX 10.3 is by far the hardest kit I've ever built. So, Alan, is it true that in the SEX 3, they've done away, Axial done away with, like, all the parts trees and stuff? So that's one of the fun things you like about Axial. Like, you get all the you get all the parts trees, and they have all different stuff from the parts trees. Like, I know the parts trees in this one came, uh, like, the ball horns and stuff. So, they suck if they've done away with that. So, he said yes. Man, that, that's crazy. They're turning into, like, freaking Traxxas, my other. Anyone else? I think it's a big part. It's a big part, Sean. Fern's still here. Yes, Fern is still here, yeah. Um, Scottzilla, don't forget the, the super glue your tires and the beadlocks. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, when I get when I get there, Scott, we'll see what, I'll see what glue I have lying around. Then we'll glue whatever I have. I have some plumber's glue down in the... I have some plumber's glue down in the basement. I could probably go get that. It might work. That's why I haven't even started my 10-3 yet. Yeah, it's about time to get that thing going, Voodoo. If you want, you can send it this way and I'll build it for you. Hey, BNC RC kid, what's up? You want to send it, if you want to send it my way, Trudy, I'll build it for you. Test drive it and then send it back to you. So for those of you that are only joining, um, I did I put the drive shafts and all on earlier. Um, these were actually donated from Fern Solo. Like Look how pretty these things are, guys. Pure metal, like real heavy duty. It's good. And they actually just came in right before I'm starting the live. Because right? it's it, it just pure coincidental, like it was the next step I had to do, and they just literally arrived right before I got them. So, Fern, thank you very much, man. There's no, like, can't say thanks enough, like. I'll have the video in a couple of weeks. I just asked for people to be subscribed. This is a thank you for raising 500 subs. Cool, Fern Solo. Pretty cool. Oh, he also he also donated these for the rear axles, the RC four wheel drive um, extenders. So I will be taking the plastic ones off and putting these on. This is the part that always tricks me, these freaking Falco sticky things. Wonder will I get it right first time? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Yay, I got it right first time. Normally I put them on backwards where they don't stick right or anything i know i'm just taking my time building here guys because it's fun just having a bit of chat with everybody and everybody in the chat having a bit of fun with each other as well but it actually it is a little harder to build live as well because you are actually talking to people in the chat and doing stuff as well so I don't have the electronics for this car yet, so I am going to go ahead and build. Just everywhere is um, everywhere is sold out of everything at the minute, and I want to get. As most of you know, I really like the Taken motors, so I do want to get myself the the Taken thirty turn Hamline Pro motor, but at the moment they're just they're they're actually just sold out everywhere. I haven't. I haven't technically went to Taken's site yet. I'm sure if I go to Taken's site, I could get them, but 
I prefer just to wait the my local guys get them back in stock and then I'll go get them. I'll probably pick up um actually I don't know if I will. I, I normally use all every one of my rigs behind me have what do you call it, the Par HD servos. Um I, I don't actually know if I'm gonna go on a Par HD servos. I like something a little quieter in this rig. This sounds in so if any is a good suggestion for a servo that's like nice and quiet, let me know because I am getting tired of the noisy ones. Alan, but to me the parts tree is easier because it made it harder to find parts. On top of it off, I had to hand literally measure almost fifty percent of the kit with a ruler to make sure. It, that's crazy. That is crazy, Alan. Like, why would they do that, you know? So, what you're saying, it's definitely not a kit for somebody that's a first time, first time to build a kit or something. So, Voodoo, it looks like you've got your work cut out for you on that one. Reef servos are quiet. Yeah, reef servos are quiet, but they're also bloody expensive. You know? Also, if you have any ideas for a good um, servo winch, I want to get a nice servo winch. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get another part here for this part. Just seven. See, so this is where the parts trees do come in handy, and this is number two, and that's this one. Perman RC, quiet what? Top of the afternoon, Sean. Perman RC, top of the afternoon, dear. So this is going to be here. So this one goes here, here. Hmm, that doesn't look like it's lining up. And so Obviously, it's not that screw. So I kind of went, I kind of proceeded there. Because the instruction manual, let me show you. Let me just move all the stuff off to one side. To me, it looks like, to me, it looks like that screw is actually going up through both of these parts, and both of these are holding together. But it actually does not, this one does not have holes in it, the bottom. So the screws don't actually go up through it. So that's why it had me confused there for a second. Because the two of them, I couldn't get the two of them to line up. But Good. So have fun, guys. I need to get ready for tonight's race. Good luck, Scott. Have fun with the race. The SX-10-2 was an awesome kit to build for me. Yeah, it is, Alan. It's a fun, it's a fun little kit. I have, I have plans for this one, like so. My other, when I built the other SX-10, it was fun too. Most of my, most of my trucks came as kits. Except my, this one, the orange and black Bronco. The orange and black Bronco, it came as a Bronco from tracks. It's fully assembled, ready to run. I've uh, been on here for 40 something minutes already. Yes. 
crazy time flies when you're having fun, huh? So what's that? That's eight seven. Eight seven part four. That's this one. Good luck, Scott. Yeah, Scott, look. Good luck with the racing tonight, man. One, two, Is your actually I never saw it. Is your track open the game for night racing or are you doing the virtual racing if you haven't left already? I just thought about that because I know Texas is reopening some stuff. They make the Ford hard body pickup. Um Ford hard body. I'm not too sure, Alan. I'm sure somebody probably has it with 3D printed files. We would have to print one, but I know most people just cut the backs off the Broncos, just cut it right, follow the lines of the Bronco body and just cut it right down to make a pickup item. But I'm sure somebody has a hard body pickup one because they do look cool like so. Now it's telling me to mount the servo, so I don't have the servo, so I will go ahead and put the mounts in, though. Oh, well, maybe I'll not, because it's telling me to screw them down with the servo. No, there's two parts I can put in without the servo, so that is going to be part tree number... Number six, part three. Number six, part three. That says number six, part two. So where's number six, part three? Alrighty. Now the fun begins, guys, searching for the right part. I don't actually see a part. What's that say? Part three? I don't actually see a part three. Unless I'm going blind. Oh, yeah, I got it. That's weird. It's on a completely different tree. Like, that's, why would they do that? That's so weird. Again, this is another part that you had to clip together. It's hard to see, though, with the lighting. So this, you had to clip together. I don't know why they couldn't just make that as a one-piece part. I'm sure they cut off. It's like when you're doing the transmission, there's a couple of pieces on the transmission that you had to actually just clip together, where they couldn't actually just... Realistically, they could have um, they could have just made it where it was a one piece part. I don't know why they made it a two piece, but I guess they're the engineers and I'm not. So I know Unimog is a good looking rig. The Unimog, the just the four wheel Unimog is a nice looking rig. I do not like the 6x6 six six Unimog. I don't like the 6x6 six six Traxxas either. The, like that stupid G-Wagon. I don't know what they were thinking about that G-Wagon. Um, I don't know. That G-Wagon is ugly as hell for Traxxas. So I, I'm hoping that one of them will actually come out with a, what do you call it, like a 6x6 six six kit. If you come out with a 6x6 six kit, I'd definitely be really interested in that. Like, is that... That's something that would be really cool, like... So, I'm, I keep... 
I keep wishing, even last night when Harley was uh, John Schultz and all on, I was trying to see even if even if the 6x6 six six was in the works for Element, because that might be something really cool, because the Element truck seems to be doing really well, you know? Or maybe a 6x6 six six for them. The Cross... HC, HC6, 6x6 six six military side time. Yeah, that, that's a cool, that's a cool truck, Alan, but uh, the only cross RC one that I really want is the Mammoth. Um, it's definitely on my list to get. I actually, I went last Christmas to get the Mammoth, and that's how I ended up with the Vanquish and everything, because... When I went to get the Mammoths, they were out of stock. So I was standing in the hobby shop with a, a pocket full of cash. So I was like, all right, give me, um, I, I took a Vanquish, I took the motors, the ESCs, I bought a TRX4 kit, motors, ESCs, everything. Ended up blowing all the money on stuff that I literally didn't even go there to get. But again, you live and you learn. So. All right, time for some frame reels. But maybe this Christmas I'll put it on my wish list again and I'll get the mammoth again. They're all here. We're all near that mistake, Sean. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's like the Vanquish, like, truth be told, the Vanquish is the biggest mistake I ever made. It's like totally not worth the money. Even these frame reels. Like, looking nice, these are nice, clean frame rails, everything. Um, I know I probably should have reached out to Vanquish when I when I got the rails. Like, the frame rails were all scored. Like, and pretty deep scores right down here on the Vanquish ones. There was a couple here, a couple back here. So, it's like, I didn't even get to put the first scrapes on the truck either. And, to be fair, it's a lot of plastic in that truck. Hey, Riff Raffs, what's up? I have the RC four-wheel drive Beast 2 6x6. It's cool and everything, but I don't like the body. I feel like if I grab it wrong, I might break it. That's why I'm trading it for an Axial Unimog. Cool, um, cool Bicer Boy. What you should do, Bicer Boy, and the reason I want, um, the reason I want to get a, like a kit version of one of them is, the one fourteenth scale Tamiya truck bodies actually will fit that Unimog perfect. So you can you could go with like um, like a King Hauler body. You could put the starts the making of something really great. You could do the King Hauler cab on the front of that six by six Unimog and then go from there and spread it out backwards. Which would be something really cool, like, you know. Anyway, enough com complaining about Vanquish. Another thing Vanquish doesn't even give you for the money, they don't even give you um, they don't even give you a receiver box. Like, what the hell is that about? No receiver box or anything? So like, and Harley's answer one night and one of the one of the questions was like I asked him on the live chat one night and his answer was, Well, not everybody uses receiver boxes. Yeah, but Maybe not everybody on the West Coast, but most of us guys in the East Coast are dealing with a lot of freaking rain and stuff like that. So a lot of us guys in the East Coast, we use them. I just make sure this is the right part and break it off before I break it off. 92. Part 3, yep, the right one. The VS410 is sadly overrated, but the cool kids recommend it. Yeah, Perman RC, totally 100% agree. I could have bought three G made Komodos for the price of the Vanquish, and that's and that's the Vanquish not even having electronics. And um, like, okay, I have one, but that's all I can say is I have one. I never seen a truck come with worse stock tires and foams in my life. For that money and the amount of plastic that's in that truck is ridiculous. It's absolutely shocking. 
Like if I was to do it again, I probably would get. Uh, if I was to do it again, I would probably get what do you call it the the first one that they had the origin or the origin or whatever it was. At least that one was all steel and a lot of metal and everything. I bought a used one from Fly Hawaiian, from Flying Hawaiian for six hundred and fifty. I love it. Yeah, Flying Hawaiian's one though. He would have he would have a lot of. I I meet that dude constantly. He's sponsored by Par Hobbies, and that's one of my local hobby shops. And he's in there all the time, upgrading the truck with all Par Hobby parts and Par Hobbies. Like he's a he's a Par Hobby team driver. It's pretty cool too. So he'd be in there a lot. He's a pretty cool guy too. I think he's from uh where he's from Massachusetts or somewhere, I think. You know? Alright, let me just concentrate here for a moment. So this one would be this reel. So this is the one I'm looking for. Yeah, He did an awesome job. Yeah, he does. He definitely does. Guys, I'm confused. I have an ESC that is rated for 3S, 6S. I can take two, it can take two batteries at one. If I hook up two S lipos, will it be 4S and work? Yes, it will work like that with two. It will work like that. So yes, you can hook up to you can hook up um, two two S two two S batteries. I think that's what most people do because to buy the four S battery, you're probably only going to use it one time on that one specific thing, unless you have a lot of four S vehicles. I know. I think the what do you call it the the X Max Mini, the whatever you call that thing, I think it's, um, I think it's actually 4S as well. From RC Sean, the Vanquish SCX 10 2 chassis conversion kits make your SCX 10 2 better than the VS 410. Normal people recommend it. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. The, it definitely does do a lot. Of, I, I I'm like look I can't I can't complain. The, the Vanquish it does look good when it's out there. It it is a good truck, but you still have to upgrade it for that. Um, but for that for that amount of money, like you shouldn't have to upgrade it. And one of my one of my peeves with it as well is they're so hard to get the wheels to get out the wheel nuts and everything like the truck's meant to be all about on the trails and all crawling friendly if you were to do repairs on that thing on the trails it would take you forever there's no chance you're just pulling out screwdrivers out of your pockets and doing it and so that that's one thing that really upsets me about it like the, the rest of the trucks i could work on no problem on the trail that thing, there's not a hope with the, with the stock. There is if I use different wheels and modified it. But I'm just like, for a stock vehicle, why should you have to do that? You know? um, Riff Raff, I can't find a can of a Tamiya matte black to save my life, LOL. Um, Try, I don't know if you've ever ordered from Nitro Hobbies. Try to try Nitro Hobbies. They normally have a lot of, to me, a paint in. But the black, right now, there's probably a lot of people painting stuff black. It's like, had a hell of a time to find a 1080 ESC. Um, 1080 ESCs right now, there's a good deal. Uh, if Power Hobbies is still doing the deal. They have a, an actually a really good deal on them at the minute. They're giving you a 
they're giving you a 1080 ESC and they've just come out with their own motors. So they're giving you one of their own crawler motors as well to try their motors, like all different turns. So if you try, um, I, I would try them and see what, just see what you can come up with from them. But I know, I know they are doing some, some deals just to get people to start using their own, their own motor, which makes sense. It's a good, good market employ for them, you know. Of course, these things all came broke off in the uh, in the parts bag. So now, which one is bloody which? So this is the one I'm looking for. And this is two flatheads. Wow, guys, we're already an hour into this stream. It's crazy, like, time goes so quick. It's crazy. There's no screw today. These ones. See that? Yep, there's only two of these. So is anybody else building anything or working on anything else or waiting on parts or getting parts or trying to find some stuff? That's the wrong one. Where did that one go? I just had. Here we go. So you guys are all right, gentlemen. I gotta run. See you on the next one. Bye, Shabai. Thank you very much for stopping in. I can't find a 1080 ASC either. I ended up getting uh, an Axial AE, five decent ESC, at least a drag brick, ten dollars cheaper. Um, some particle or uh, Perman RC as well. I would try, uh, I would try, as I said, try par hobbies as well. Because a good deal for forty nine dollars, and they're giving you the motor. Um, later, by so boy, it took me fifteen straight hours to build a SCX ten three. Yeah, so you just opened it and couldn't stop all, and yeah, it just went going crazy. My Komodo double cab it was on the way. Finally, cool riffraff. Where did you where did you finally get it? I'm still waiting on the wide body kit for the Y2 to uh, SCX2 build. Crazy, I. I, I I just can't believe they, they haven't even explained to you like why what's taking them so long to get to the parts even like or no no nothing like not an explanation nothing just you'll know not the order from there again anyway do I got it from RC Exposure. Yeah, I don't know who I don't know who that is. Just rest, so. But you'll enjoy it. It's a good kit, like you know. I like it. I my I got mine. I got mine pretty much as soon as they came out over here. They weren't even on. Um, they weren't even on Nitro Hobbies website yet. Whenever. I, I told the guy from Nitro Hobbies, when you get them in, let me know. So before they were even on his website, he called me just to let me know he got the shipment in. So I just went straight down, bought one right away. So I've had mine a long time. But, and I've never had a problem with it. So it's definitely a good kit. Why does this one screw just not want to tighten? Uh, 
Have you ever built any kits before Riffraff or anything, or is this going to be your first kit to build? What the hell, guys? This just does not want to tighten up. It's in the hole. I don't want to force it and break it, but if I have to, I will. First one, brother. Yeah, cool riffraff. You will definitely, you will have fun with it. But there's enough of us out there that's built them. If you have any questions, just don't, don't hesitate. Just reach out and we'll answer whatever. We'll help you with whatever we can along the way, you know. I will use the force on it to build it then. Never be able to remove the part. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on with this one now. Everything's lining up. It doesn't want to tighten up. Definitely the right screw. Yeah, it's the right screw, so I don't know. I'll try again. It's going so far and it's just not not wanting to bite any further. That's the worst about plastic too, because you don't want to end up melting the plastic with it. That's so weird, guys. Maybe this is where a power tool would come in handy. It just does not want to tighten. Let me loosen the other side of it. See, that'll help. What the hell? It's turning, it's in the hole. It just won't tighten. Nope, there we go. There's a, nope, there's a popping back out again. So, let me take this side off. Loosen that up some. See what's going on there. I don't know why it won't tighten. Sean, spend ten dollars on a two point five and a three point tip. I have 2.5 tips here, I have 2.5 tips here. I have a drawer full of like, like, I got drawers just filled with stuff. I even have this kit that has all the tips. I even have all the Allen keys. So I have tons, I have tons of stuff. I just, these are the ones I like using, but I just don't know why it's not. It's not tightening into the hole behind. It's not to do with, like, it's not ringing or it's not stripping or anything. It's going in, and then it just won't tighten up. It's like springing. So like there's it starting to spring right now. Mm. 
Yeah, so that, that's totally weird. This side's going in, no problem. Like, this side's going in with ease. Hey, Bobby K. Alton, what's up, buddy? Oh, my God, I just said buddy. What am I, American? Jesus. That's one thing I hit my kid saying to me. Hey, buddy. And now I just freaking said it. What the hell? Guys, I don't know why this screw just will not tighten. This is so strange. Is it going? You can see it, man. It just, it, it just springing. It won't, it won't lock tight. Americanized yeah, Jeff, we do. Yeah, it's like crazy. I can't believe I just said that. I caught myself after I said it. I was like, what did you just say? That's crazy, guys. I don't know why that'll not tighten in there. We'll see. I'll move on. I'll come, I'll come back to it and use a bit of ignorance later. All right, so this is where the fun part is now because I'm actually not using the skid plates that come. I'm not using the skid plates that come with the kit. Or not the skid plates, the trays. Because these are actually the trays that you, if you, if you get the Club Five Racing, um, Range Rover body, they, they, they're pretty cool. They come, it will fit a TRX Four, or it'll fit a what's called an SCX Ten Two. But you do need these to support it, and it does away with body posts or does away with anything. Because these bolt to the chassis. And then these sections here bolt up into the body. So I know it is a pain to have to remove the body if you ever need to, because you have to unscrew the body, but it is actually a good way of doing it. matter of lining all these little shits up now. There we go. Perfect. Was perfect. I just can't get it to snap. There we go. Snap into place. No, so my the good these are marked. It's hard to see because I sprayed them. It says left and right. They do come like pure white when you first get them. So but it definitely is. Actually when I remember this right the last time. That's what it was when I done this the last time. The actual one that's marked left actually had to go on the right hand side, and the one that was marked right had to actually go on the left hand side. That's something I do remember from the last time when I put these together. And then some flat heads. <laughs> 
So guys, I'm gonna do this side and then I'm probably just gonna end it in a bit because we're already well over an hour into this already. TS for day, hey guys. Had to drop in for a few. Hey, TS, how are you? Buddy, thanks for dropping in. So that, that's, that's the only thing about them, where they're situated. You actually need something long to get in there. And of course, it will not. there's something wrong with my tool guide. I got grease on it the other day, and ever since I got grease, it's just not gripping right. When I put pressure on it, it's good. Kevin Gibbs later. Yeah, but why end it on um, no one else has anything to do? Might as well hang out. Well, that's true, Voodoo. I just wish these certain things would lock for me. Makes life a lot easier when it's locked. Make sure I get the right one. Did you figure out why screw wouldn't fit? I was mess. I was messing with the printer. No, it, it's still springing through to it. I don't know why, so I'll take a look at it in a little while. I guess maybe when I put the other side on and the two sides tighten up, it might actually just, it might help stop the spring a little bit, springing it back. I put the other frame rail on. See, so these are actually the these are actually the plates that you'll be using for if you do that Range Rover body. I have a I do have the Jeep body there, but I have plans for that. I'm actually going to send that to. I'm probably going to send it to Crusher King RC for him to do a paint job. I actually like some of the paint jobs he does, so I'm probably going to send it to him for him to paint it up and see how it comes back. I'll leave, I'll leave the paint job completely up to him. Whatever he chooses, he chooses. This is bag three. You see, if you have a 2.6 millimeter instead of a three millimeter, it is easier to do, you might think. Yeah, I probably have one there somewhere. I have a load of them, even that, um, even the, what do you call it, the, there's like a red 
box there that's just filled with things as well. So I have a lot of a lot of different stupid things that I buy and accumulate throughout the year. Well, throughout the years. You know? Now the screws the right the screws the right size. Pokemon I checked it against our Perman RC. I checked it against the sheet. It was definitely the right size of screw. There's only nine people left in the chat now anyway. Nine people, eight people. We just lost an hour. There's only eight people still watching. Oh, you freaking muppet. See, so I used a different word there instead of cursing, so that's where. And I come and go. We don't want to know about your personal life, too, do No. I did forgot to put the shock car on there, guys, so the shock car would actually help. Oh, sorry, Fudo, you said they come and go. I thought you said I come and go. I think I definitely should invest in a I definitely should invest in an electric screwdriver. And hopefully any luck I'll be back to bloody work soon. This friggin' lockdown stuff is just crazy. I know New York are saying though probably not till they're saying probably not until um, May 15th at the earliest anyway, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, it was up back part now. 9-3. Alright guys, I'm trying to get this side of the parts bag. Oh, so I, I didn't realize they actually give you like a, a tow bar, like a draw hitch right there as well. I didn't know they I didn't know they done that. But I won't be using the I won't be using the bumpers to come with this thing anyway, because the the body that I'm using actually has its own has its own bumpers and everything on it as well. So I will just be using, I will be using it instead. So 15. One, one, five, round head, looks like that one. Yep. So I'll show you the body in just a second that I'm using and you'll see why I'm not using the actual bumpers to come with a kit, and I'm not using the, the side plates to come with a kit or anything, like the trade uh, ESC holders or anything like that. Good, that front bumper is freaking ginormous. It is ginormous. Like, it sticks out of my mind. The only good thing about it is if you want to... 
if you want to put like a servo on it, at least it's all done and ready to fit the servo, like you know. So that's that's one good thing about it. So you can do the servo right away with it. And um, so this will actually be the body. So this is actually the body. It's a little dusty and it's all cleaned up, but it, it has its own bumpers and everything on it. And then when you open the door inside here, so right here is what screws, the screws come up through to them mounts that I just put on. So that's why I have to go, that's why I have to go with them mounts in order to fit that body. Um, let me see, let's grab the other reel. <laughs> So, Fudu, I take it your printing stuff. Have you ever had to go back and forth to the printers, print anything nice? SX102 Cherokee interior. Oh, nice. I'll have to see what that looks like off you one of these days. Because I'm tired of them. Um, I'm tired of them Proline interiors. The you know the ones that just a flat one. The one the one I got for the Komodo and stuff. That's nice. That's the it's actually the newer the Raptor one, but the other ones are, I just don't like them anymore. So they're good for in a quick hurry and a pinch. Like I have a nice interior. Do you know what I should actually do, Voodoo? I, I'm going to go online because I was going to buy a, I was going to buy an interior and stuff for that, um, for that Range Rover. Check out the RC Girls Cherokee build. I printed her interior. Sweet, I'll check that out. Um, I wasn't going to say the... The, the Bronco body, I should actually check. Or not the Bronco, the Defender. And see if anybody has any... Um, any kits out there for it? Any interiors? Because there is, there is interiors. Uh, Club 5 Racing does an interior for it. So I should just check it out and see. I should just check it out and see what what they have for it out there for prints. And maybe I get you to print something. Better coming from you than anyone else. Proline, the Proline is better than no interior, but that's all I can say. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, there's a lot of people out there don't even put interiors in their trucks or figures or anything. I just, I don't know, there's something about a ghost truck that 
I'd prefer to have it like um I prefer to have an interior and everything in it. Crusher King RC just made it made it sir. Hope everyone is good. Crusher King, I was actually talking about you um a few minutes ago. I decided after this I'm gonna PM you. So I'm gonna actually send you this. Crusher King, I'm gonna send you this Cherokee body for a nice painting on the Cherokee. Let me know if you want it cut out or just, um, let me know if you want me to cut it out or not. Hey, Steve OD, what's up? TC01, 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 Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya. <laughs> awesome. So Crusher King, let me know if you want me to actually, um, let me know. I just can't stop laughing now, it's Steve O's. <laughs> <laughs> to me, to me, to me. Yeah. Um, let me know if you want me to cut it out for you, or you want to just leave it the way it is, and I'll ship it the way it is. So just let me know. How are you feeling, anyway, Steve? Big, that's what she said. Later on, I gotta go, guys. Phone call, no problem. Food, we'll chat to you in a bit. See, I, you're the one telling me, Oh, don't go anywhere. Like, what else have we to do? And then now that I stay on for a little bit, you run off. Awesome, cut it, cut it so it fit. No problem. I'll I'll cut it. Um, I'll cut it, Crusher King, and then I'll I'll get it sent out to you. I just ever from your early days on your channel, I really loved the paint jobs you've done and some of your trucks and some. So I'm definitely gonna send this one to you for to get it painted. Be a pleasure having one of your one of your painted bodies on my rig. So it'll not it'll not be on this one because this one is actually getting built to fit the the Range Rover, but it'll definitely be on. I have another SEX ten too sitting right behind me, so it will go on that one. So I will I will p I will PM you after this just to get your address and stuff, and I'll send you the body. Um, I'm going to leave it completely up to you. I have no seam in mind, no nothing in mind, and I'll leave it completely up to you as a, as a surprise for what it's going to look like. I just got this Flying King wheels and their bog hog body for the mega truck build. Sweet, Steve, will you start at that yet, or when's it starting? Or I'm looking so forward to that build. Got some aluminum rear fenders for the night haul or two. Sweet. After the night hauler. So how's the night hauler come along? Have you started it, Steve, or it's still flinging in the wind? So these ones are actually... At the night hall, lol, in the box still. <laughs> what 
time of night is it? Well, six thirty-five. All right, so I guess I'll end this. I'll end this stream around seven, guys. So I'll go get a bit of dinner and stuff before I do anything else. Maybe I'll go on tanks tonight and torture Brad for a bit of fun. So this is the reason why I need these um, instead of the ones that come with the kit. Is these are the actual ones for the Defender body or the Range Rover body, whatever you want to call it. Range Rover, Defender, I think they're all pretty much the same. Let not just snap. It should snap in there. Hmm. Interesting. Just can't get it the the mortar to snap into the Okay, what the hell? Okay, where you know how to wait a minute? As my daughter guys had to just chase her out of the room for a second. So. That's interesting why this thing just won't snap together. It's like the holes are just slightly off. So weird. So what I will do is I'll put this back one in first a minute because then that might give me take some of the spring out of it. And I put this one in, it might unspring it for me. Our saving master, hey, what's up, buddy? Oh my god, there I used that word again. That's twice tonight. I use the word buddy. That is crazy. Getting too Americanized now, guys. You know, April means this summer is going to be a bit. Yeah, it's raining like crazy here in New York. It's the, the weather is insane right now. But I guess. Tomorrow's the 1st of May, so we'll see. Yes, sir. See, hi, everyone. I'm back. Welcome back, Benjamin. I don't know why that motor might, might, won't just snap into place. And everything else is snapping in except the motor mount.
There we go. That should be it right there. Now I gotta go of it. Did you get the? Yeah, Ben. Yep, I did. Steve, oh got got here on Monday. Still working, waiting for the receiver. Cool. I don't know why this is being so annoying right now, guys. This is normally where I'd be using a lot of language that can't really be used on the channel. I'm not gonna force that any further guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what's going on with that. So before I break it and I got really frustrated and started yelling at words that I shouldn't yell. I'll continue on. This is only the mount for the truck, so I don't actually need to put that on yet and not be mounting that body for a while. But now I've lost a shop car. Oh, right, right in front of me, but it teeth would bite me. X one sixties. Oh, some video quality, You're going to be amazing, Bill. Get the thumbs up. Thanks, marvelous. If I had to step out for a minute to grab my dinner. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back, Riff Ruffs. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm probably going to wrap it up soon myself because I can hear my kids starting to argue with each other down there. Yeah, it's something, it's definitely something I got to get, Crusher King, I got to get a uh, magnetic mat. It's definitely something I got to invest in. It's like, just, it seems, I seem lucky though, it seems like there must be a slight slant in my wood floor, because every time I drop something, I drop some, it seems to all go to the same place which is pretty handy. So they seem to bounce and then roll to the same corner. Well, it's not that bad. I have ProTac RC on. Um, they are great. So guys, for those of you just jumping in, these dry shafts were actually donated for this build from Fern Solo. Nice heavy steel um, drive shafts. He also sent me a set of the RC four wheel drive, the back couplings for the rear axle. So I will I will remove these and put the nice uh, metal ones on as well. So it, it was actually just pure coincidental as well. Right before I was ready to start one live my wife actually called me and said there's a package from Fern Solo. So it just turned out perfect, perfect timing, you know. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm not going to bother putting the links and everything on right now, guys. The links and the shocks. So I'm, I'm probably going to end the build like this for the moment. 
Um, Crusher King, I will I will PM you after this. And I'll get, let me just turn this camera up, guys. Sure, you just got enough. See, so the shirt alone works out for the swear words that I couldn't say myself. It is actually a Ben Fold shirt. So if you just don't know his music, check him out. The, what it says on the back of it, though, is pretty cool. So, you know, if you can read the back of it. So. The more you know, you know, you know, you don't know shit is what it says on the back. So, let me just change this around so it's on my ugly face. Then it hangs steak, Steve. -o. That sounds good. Like Island RC, great stuff. Sean later on. Sean's fashion show, lol. <laughs> yeah, Steve. -o. It just, I can't, I don't really want to curse too much on the. Uh, on the stream, so I might as well wear the shirt where I can look at it myself and remind myself. So it's like I'll just turn this that way a little bit from turn it away from the mess over there, of bodies and everything over that way, you know. No, uh, but everybody, thanks very much for taking the time to stop in with me. Um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate the the time you all spend, and I'll maybe see you tonight on Tank Show. If I don't, I'll definitely um, you curse enough on mine, lol. I don't curse on you, Steve, do I? I say fuck even here on this one because I finished my sentences with that word, but there's normally like a piece when that wouldn't go on for me there. Normally there'd be words uh, like this video would just be bleep, 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 you know? Um, per man, I see damn nice of Vern solo, must be awesome to get help from friends. Yeah, totally. Um, per man, RC, it's totally something completely unexpected as well. So that was really nice of him, you know. Yeah, but as I said, if I don't see his on tanks later on tonight, which I probably will, let me just turn that camera up again. But it's like probably will stop in for a little bit, but I'll definitely see his on Steve OD's for tomorrow night. Steve, oh, your your chat's the king of chats, so we all definitely have to be at your chat. Hilarious, I have a good one. I'll be waiting for the message. Have a good one. I'm out. Later, Crusher King, so I'll message you in a few minutes. I'll hit you up for your address, and then I'll cut that body out. I'll just show you before you leave really quick. What I'm going to do is, because I didn't realize the Jeep bodies actually come with a bumper on them, but most of these Jeep bodies, even my other one is cut right across here. So you can put them big stupid um, plastic bumpers that come with the SEX on it, but I don't want to, so I'm gonna actually leave this bumper on. I'm gonna cut it below and just leave the, the actual built-in Lexan bumper and do away with that big stupid silver one. So I'll cut it out, Crusher King, and then, I'll get it in the mail to you as soon as I can. I'll leave the I'll leave the paint scheme. I'll leave everything completely up to you. I'll do um I'll do a nice unboxing of it when I get it for you from you. I'll do a nice unboxing, and of course you'll be doing one yourself as well. So I can't wait to actually see what you do. Like. Ever since I seen you do the raptor body and you put the MX of raptors on it and everything, I've always wanted you to do a, a paint one for me. So definitely thanks, Crusher King, for saying you would definitely do it. You know, rolling on the floor must be awesome. Later, later, fellas, thumbs up. Later, Steve. -o. So if we do take it to your call is. I think your call was important enough to pull away from the stream for saying to me, what else have we to do? Huh? Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Yeah, thanks a lot, poor man. Yeah, it's awesome. I actually got 20 thumbs up today. So far, I don't see a thumbs down. So that's half the start. But once, once after the live is when the thumbs down will come. I can't believe I've been here for nearly two hours, though. That's crazy. I guess that... Uh, I don't know, I actually like just having everybody in the chat and talking away to everybody as you're doing a little bit of build. It takes a boring monotonous of just sitting here in your room doing it. And it's the first time I'm ever building one live, which makes it, it does actually make it a lot harder, believe it or not, because you are trying to 
keep up with the chat and talk to people and build parts and not get frustrated like you normally would. You know, but this this is common cool. And the, the good thing about these drive shafts that Fern Solo sent, like look at the play in these. So I could do the different um I could do the different lengths. Like look at the look at the play in that thing there. So I could do the different chassis lengths and put a different body on it. Uh, I did see that um Killer body actually have an awesome Land Rover for like a Land Rover body for an SEX 10 too. So I was thinking of maybe picking up a Land Rover body as well. But I gotta wait till I get back to work first before I can do anything. So suck sitting at home and just doing nothing but being a school teacher practically. Yeah. Well, guys, I think at that note. I'll call it a night and um, just thanks very much for stopping in. I'll, pro I'll see you all later on on the tanks probably. I, I'm sure, I'm pretty much sure I'll stop in for the first little bit and then I'll have to run to get the kids down to bed. I'm surprised now they're not actually killing each other down them stairs. Like, I'm, I'll probably go down and one of them's unconscious. <laughs> touch wood LOL or not my son wasn't practicing wrestling on my daughter or something but guys thanks very much and I really appreciate you taking the time to stop in have a good night everyone see you it's Friday I'll see you Friday on Steve OD's photo definitely Steve OD's is the place to be you know I right, take care everyone thanks a lot <laughs>